hey hey everyone uh welcome back to my channel i just thought i should come and check in with you um while i'm in the throes of packing and trying to get back i wanted to show you this this obviously is packaging tape <laughs> as you all know clear packaging tape um and i'll tell you the story about how i got a hold of this clear packaging tape I was walking outside and uh, the lady who's my neighbor, her and her family were just coming out of their car and she was carrying this like this in her arm. She had this in her hand and I'm like, oh, that's exactly what I need. But I was walking to the shop, right? And she said, oh, here you go. You can take it. You can use it. And I, and I started to say, it's okay. I'm going to the shop. I can buy one. It felt like the Holy Spirit said, shh close your mouth and and take it and i said are you sure and she said i'm absolutely sure and she said i'll leave it here at the front door because i'd already locked and i was on my way out and she left it there on my porch and i i left now this this is not expensive this is something i could have bought myself and come back to the house and you know but the Holy Spirit, as I'm walking and I'm now going on to the store to buy whatever else that I needed, said, remember, I asked you to receive help when you get it. When someone is offering help, now remember what I taught you last year. And so in continuing with the vein of the things that I learned last year or the things that I was, I, I was forced to remember that I already knew last year in 2019 one of those things was to ask for help and receive help when you are getting help this lady was giving me help and in a roundabout way i was asking for help when i was saying that's exactly what i need um and she was saying here here's help and in that moment the holy spirit was just instilling in me yet again when you get help receive it receive it as a grace receive it as a favor receive that someone is doing that for you and not not try to be superwoman and not try to be a superhuman and not try to be this person who doesn't need other people or doesn't want to bother other people but just receive the help last year one of the major things i had to learn to do is to ask for help and receive it there's so many things i can do uh i can fix issues with my computer if there's issues with my computer i can fix issues with my health if there's issues with my health I can fix issues with, you know, a, a bunch of things. There's a lot of things I am capable and able to do. But what the Holy Spirit, what God began to teach me last year is that you cannot do it all. You have to ask for help. In uh, where I am, there's a department completely dedicated to all our IT needs all our computer needs. If something's going wrong with your computer or it's IT related, you can literally go to this department and they handle it for you. And I remember once just sitting in my room and having an IT related problem and trying to fix it. And the Holy Spirit said, that's not your job. Get up and take it to the IT department and let them think about it and let them fix it. When I was having, you know, whatever issues in my health and I was trying to fix it myself, Holy Spirit said, that's not your department. Get up and go to the doctor. The Holy Spirit said, that's not your job. Get up and go to the alternative health practitioner. It's not your job. You have to outsource these things. And now I've given you the means to be able to outsource these things. I understand this is all about means. It's a gift to be able to do all these things and be and have the capability to do, to do them. But there comes a time where it's not about your capability. It is about your capacity and whether you have it or not. And I certainly did not have the capacity. And when whenever you don't have the capacity, 
by the grace of God, you usually are provided for in such a way that you can outsource the hands that can help you. And so in 2019, I was very much reminded to ask for help and to not try to fix everything myself and do everything myself, but that, and see asking for help as a strength that helps me to be able to delegate what is not the most important thing in my priorities to the person to whom it is the most important things on their priorities and off my plate. Um, I think we do live in a world where there's a sense of people doing everything for themselves and people take pride, some sense of pride in that. Uh, but for me, the, the revelation that God showed me last year was to ask for help and to receive it. And even in the small things, even, even in the small things such as packing tape, someone offering to give me their packing tape and I don't have to buy it to receive that kind of help and not be so proud that you know i'm always on i can do it all by myself mode but to receive help and it has really helped my life it has helped me to only do the things that are most important to the current goal and the current focus and the current purpose that i'm focusing on in my life right now and to place that, that, everything, every kind of priority surrounding that at the top of my priority list. If, if it can be outsourced, let somebody else do it. And re receive the help and take the help and ask for it as often as you need it. Because there's only 24 hours in a day. And all these people that you can be asking for help from are on standby, waiting to be useful and not asking for help means that you are foregoing what is already provided. You are foregoing what is already there and has been put in place to assist you and help you. And so I have learned to not forego the help that is there. And when it, if, even if it, it occurs in random moments such as this moment with the lady next door, I receive it. Because I, I see the grace, I see the favor, I see the blessing of it. And I, I, I receive it as a gift that it is. That's one of the things that I learned in 2019, to ask for help and to receive it. And as much as I need help, ask for it as much as I need it. And not limit myself. The only thing that will limit and that should limit uh, asking for help is someone says no. That's all. That's the only time, that's the only thing that should limit the help if, is if somebody says no or is, I can't right now or I don't have the capacity right now or I don't want to, then that's the thing you just need to do yourself. Outside of that, ask for help as much as you can because you would be surprised how, how much people are willing to help, how much help is available. And, and here you are stacking responsibility upon responsibility on your plate and you could and there are there's a possibility of so many people who could possibly help you with this stack of things that you've stacked on your plate so there's one thing i learned ask for help and i'm keeping that vein i'm keeping that lesson in my life for this year i need a lot of help and i'm going to continue to ask for a lot of help.